Well, I hope you're enjoying yourself on your super relaxing picnic, sister. I would be if you hadn't made us hike through a million prickle bushes. Uh, well, they hurt less than that horrible howling you dragged us to. That was Ponigliacci, and it's an opera. And you made us leave early, even though it was still my turn. Oh, just face it, Luna. You are never happy. Because you don't want me to be happy. I always have to do things your way. I bet you wish I'd never come back so you could still rule day and night. Oh, you think I like that kind of pressure? Being responsible for every little thing in Equestria and you? What I'd like is a sister I can depend on. You mean boss around? Calm down, Luna. No! And don't you dare use your canterlot voice on me. I think this adventure would be better if I did it by myself. Fine. I just remembered something I forgot I always wanted to do. Be alone. Guess we have the same thing on both of our lists then. part exactly the princesses never do all the ceremony planning by themselves they don't of goodness no that's what the gala planning committees are for no pony could handle all this of those sequins still rude Ooh, new plan every pony we're going to delegate you you're on food duty I need gemstones and purple satin! Tell the ponies at the gates that there's a slight delay on the gala. Oh, um, if it's not too much trouble, I mean. Uh, now who can we get to clean up all this garbage? I'm delegating! So this is how you rule Equestria. Things are so much more relaxing without my bossy sister. <laughs> Who needs a gloomy sister moping around all the time anyway? <laughs> Honestly, princess, didn't you wear any sunblock? That's a thing? <sighs> Celestia would have warned me if she were here. Now, was it two left turns and a right, or two right turns and a left? Luna always handled directions. Climbing Mount Filimanjaro was on my list. I'm not copying you. I just wanted to watch the sunrise. Ah, uh, I'm uh, here for the moonset. A uh, what? Let's hope Silverstream found a good place to hide. There could be hundreds more cockatrices on the way. If this really is a migration, it'll take a full lunar cycle to complete. Oh, I have to get word back to our parents that Silverstream could be surrounded by those terrifying birds. And as handsome as Mudbriar is now, we should probably catch one of them to turn him back to normal. Ugh, this is all my fault. I'm never taking time off from my counseling duties again. That seems a little extreme. Really? If I hadn't galloped off to a holiday celebration, Silverstream would be safe with her family and you'd all be enjoying Maud's party. Instead, my student is missing, we're surrounded by a flock of petrifying chicken snakes, and Maud's boyfriend was turned into a hunk of rock! You got the hunk part right. 
And to top it off, we have no idea if Silverstream even came to Everfree at all. But I have no idea where else to look! Has that always been there? What? Oh, that's the student's treehouse. Apparently it grew from the Tree of Harmony and... <gasps> of course! That should have been the first place we looked! me to solve my own problem, I decided to get my project done before I left. That way I could really focus on my family during my visit. The school was closed, so I came here. Why didn't you tell anyone? Mom and Dad are worried sick. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Once Edith volunteered to help, I guess I lost track of time. Cockatrices are really friendly if you know how to interact with them. I can't believe you figured out how to trigger her nesting response. They are really fascinating creatures. Did you know that they migrate to the Everfree Forest once a year? Can you imagine what would happen if you stumble on a whole flock of these? I have a few ideas. Oh. I'm sorry you got turned to stone looking for me, but I'm glad Edith was able to turn you back. How do you tell the difference? I have mixed feelings about it. Technically, I will always be a stick pony, but the experience has given me an even deeper appreciation for the density and permanence of rock. Swoon. Silverstream and I should get going, but I wanted to thank you for everything you did to help find her. I just wish I hadn't abandoned her in the first place. Starlight, you didn't abandon her. I might as well have. And even though it turned out all right, things could have been a lot worse. You can't be expected to supervise your students every second of every day. I'm not so sure. I like that you're always available, but it kind of makes it okay to come to you with stuff that maybe isn't super important. Of course, being a school counselor is a big responsibility, but always being at work isn't fair to any pony, especially me. Do you think if I had set times to see me, it might help you decide what you really need to talk about? To be honest, you really weren't very helpful with the other stuff anyway. Yeah, I... wait, what? Happy Spring Solstastic, every pony! Who wants a piece of Mrs. Cake's famous... Petrified dessert? You had me at petrified. <laughs> <laughs> On this potion, please depend. Any separation, mend, friends together, till the end. We just gotta dab a little on our hooves. Sounds perfect, right? Better than perfect. Is something supposed to happen? Is this the something that's supposed to happen? The book didn't really say. Thanks for trying, Apple Bloom, but I might as well face it. I'm gonna have to leave Ponyville. Don't give up, Scootaloo! This just gave me an even better idea how to keep you here. Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Maybe we'd better see Zakora about fixing this first. We're running out of time. Scootaloo, I know you're having fun with your friends, but we need to get all our things to the station. We can't miss tomorrow's train. It's the only one for a month. Then you'll just have to go without me. I'm staying with the CMCs. We are chained to this post. And nothing and no pony is gonna move us. No matter what. We just sold the house, Scoot. I know this is hard to accept, but just... It's more than hard! It's not fair! You're making me pick between my family and my friends! Oh, Scootaloo, moving away won't stop you three from caring about each other. 
Why don't you sleep over with Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom tonight? It'll give you a chance to say a real goodbye. But I don't want to say goodbye! You're changing my whole life without even asking how I feel! <laughs> surprise. And I've got a surprise for you! You three inspired me to finish my quilt. See? It's Cutie Mark Crusader themed! We love hearing stories about all the ponies you've helped. So Lofty decided to celebrate the special job you three do. <sighs> it's still a work in progress. It's not your quilt we're sad about, Auntie Lofty. Mom and Dad are back, and they're making me move to Shire Lanka with them. Snap and mine are back? They didn't tell me that. Oh, I think the male pony delivered your letter to my house. I love my family, but I love being with my friends, too. I don't want to have to choose. Well, then why don't your parents just stay in Ponyville? Their job is too important. That's it! Is this another potion idea? No! Scootaloo's parents are the only ponies in Equestria that can do what they do, right? Right? Good friend reminded me that I can make anything I care about totally awesome. So, from now on, I'm gonna give this thing 120%. And I expect the same from you. We are gonna dance. We are gonna cheer. We're gonna make the biggest pony pyramid Equestria's ever seen! And when we're done, we're gonna make sure every pony on that field is so pumped up, they'll forget they even came to see a game! Yeah, but not so pumped up that they forget to buy a pennant, or a button, or a quality souvenir t-shirt. What? Traditionally requires an earth pony, a pegasus, and a unicorn, but I appreciate you allowing my students to compete. Of course! And the wings and magical dampening ring you made seem to be working really well. Indeed, though not as well as your team. Hard score magic! Oh, this suspense is horrible. I'm the most nervous I've ever been. I'm not saying something. I know how you feel! Don't worry, Celestia's team might be tough, but we can still win this thing! What? Oh yeah, totally. But I wasn't talking about the game. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And that's the end of the first half. Yeah! Sorry, can't talk right now. I sure hope Dash being nervous is a good sign.
I quite enjoyed our day together, Spike. Yeah. Hi, Spike. Uh-huh. Hmm. I've never seen Spike this sad before. Do you know what happened? <clears throat> yes, well, perhaps he's still just tired from Power Pony Palooza. I don't think that's it. I suppose it's possible it could have something to do with <coughs> Gabby not wanting to spend time with him anymore. What? I thought the two of them were hanging out all the time. They were! Honestly, it took everything I had to convince him to spend any time with me at all. But between crystal gem crevasses, power pony conventions, and a marathon game of oh and no, I managed to get some time in. It sounds like you made sure he didn't have any time to spend with Gabby at all. What? <laughs> I certainly did not. Well, I suppose I may have monopolized him a teeny bit. <sighs> I've just grown so used to having Spikey Wikey around. I wasn't prepared for how much I'd miss him when he wasn't. Friendships change, but just because Spike made a new friend doesn't mean he stops being yours. I know, but now I have to share him. Which I suppose I'll have to get used to. <gasps> right after I fix this mess I've made. Good talk. Rarity? Is all this stuff for Spike again? Wouldn't it be easier to just give it to him? And why are you even here? I am here to apologize, actually. More to confess. And all of this stuff isn't for Spike. It's the evidence against me! Evidence? For what? For my acts of utter selfishness! I don't understand. These are the items I use to lure Spike into spending as much time with me as possible. They are? You did? Rarity? What are you doing? Well, obviously I'm apologizing to Gabby so the two of you can renew your friendship, Spike. Now, please, even if you can't forgive me, you simply must forgive... <gasps> Spike! Oh, I actually owe you an apology, too. You apologize a lot. Oh. I wish I didn't need to. But the more time you two spent together, the more I missed my time with Spike, and the more I used every means at my disposal to get it back. I am truly sorry. You really miss spending time with me? Oh, of course. I have to say, after not hanging out with you, I understand why. You're kind of awesome. And I know what it's like to miss that now, too. So do you think maybe we could start hanging out again? Absolutely. I don't suppose you'd like some company on your rounds right now. I sure would. Wonderful. I can't tell you how pleased I am that the two of you have... <laughs> Reconciled. I suppose Twilight is right. Friendships do change. Of course, Spike and I will always be friends. And I can get used to sharing him. Oh, the, I, I, oh, oh. Sorry. I just didn't want to drop another one and wake the bats. Darling, catching the gems is what the basket is for. Wow, you two need to be a lot quieter. Spike! How wonderful to see you! Yeah, Gabby and I had a great day. But I'll always still want my rarity time. Oh, so that's how it works. <laughs> now, all together! You again! If I wanted to play games, I would get out my pinnacle deck! This way! Rainbow Dash! I'm gonna need the deluxe spa package after this adventure. That doesn't leave this temple. That's it! I'm quitting the hench pony business to finally follow my dreams of becoming an opera star. Uh, maybe you should hold this. You cannot hide in there forever! It's a dead end! 
<laughs> Elizoda won't give up until he catches us. I think our problem is the solution. Uh, did you forget there's a monster out there that wants to crush us? But why? No pony ever asked Awizoto what his side of the story is. He must have a reason for being so upset. Or maybe he's just a bad guy. Do I need to remind you he tried to squash Daring Do like a hundred times? Me as well. I was so scared I had to change my ascot. Yes, curse this truth teller! Understanding begins with listening. Prepare to meet your doom! Um, not really. Just here to ask, why are you chasing us, Mr. Awizoto? Well, the thing is, I'm in charge of protecting this jungle. If another artifact goes missing on my watch, I'm going to be in so much trouble with the other guardian creatures. Oh, that sounds like a lot of responsibility. <laughs> it is! And those two have taken so many relics from my land, my job is on the line. So, maybe I am a little violent and ferocious. Can you blame me? The only reason I've been taking the artifacts is because I thought I was protecting them. I was stealing them to get rich. But I never realized you had a noble cause. I thought you were just being a monster. <sighs> I get that a lot. Maybe there is something to this whole listening to every pony thing. It doesn't always mean they're telling the truth, but every creature deserves kindness. True. And because you returned the talisman and took the time to understand me, I will let you all go. On one condition. You swear to never steal artifacts from the Tenochtitlan Basin again. I promise. I'll even write that in my next book. Your next book? You mean you're actually A.K. Yelling? Don't tell any pony. That gives me an idea. Hey, what's going on? I thought your first co-written novel would bring out a ton of fans. We've been upstaged by a new author. And so the noble Awizotl bravely toiled day and night to protect the jungle's precious artifacts. Here it comes! I know how I used to react, but I really have changed. Panicking won't solve anything. But we can handle whatever problems come our way, as long as we handle them together. Spoken like a true leader. How can we help? I love a good to-do list. So tell me exactly what happened so we can figure out exactly what to do to fix it.
Foundation has always been a reminder not to fear the night, for there is always a new day to look forward to. But as we look towards Equestria's future, I am sad to say that today will be the last Summer Sun celebration. Because there is something even more important to celebrate. There are two ponies who have watched over us night and day for as long as we can remember. We will no longer commemorate their battle or their reunion. Instead, we will take this day to celebrate how much they mean to all of us. From this day forward, today will be known as the Festival of the Two Sisters. We don't know what to say. I'm just glad we pulled it off. About that, we just wanted to say we're real sorry. You did tell us you'd changed. As your friends, we should have trusted you. Next time you say you're not gonna freak out, we'll believe you. Good, because I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of things I'll need my best friend's help with. <laughs> you know, it really does seem like you just might be ready for whatever comes next, Your Majesty. So, did you find what you're looking for? Once again, I've found success where you all find failure. I have located what I sought, and tomorrow I will set out to retrieve it. When I return, Equestria will finally be ours for the taking. Hmm. Oh, stop pouting. You knew you couldn't stay that buff. You had to return all the life force to those Earth ponies so Grogar doesn't suspect anything. I don't have to like it. 